Hey, what up decisive marketers and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a landing page too. I know they are kind of common out there, but good ones are hard to come by. And this particular tool, I would say is very interesting because they don't just uh, focus on landing pages, but they actually focus on Amazon product page landing pages so that's pretty amazing because uh what i could do is that i could just link my amazon product page into this landing page too and it will pull the data in and i could easily uh, have my visitors click on add to cart and it will direct them into Amazon and it will go into the Amazon uh, cart page, right? So it's amazing what they do because if you are a Amazon seller, right? If you are an Amazon seller, you sell on Amazon, you use FBA, any of the Amazons out there, this tool is perfect for you. Okay, before we dive in, right? This tool itself is called Page Maker, right? It's, it's a pretty new too but they seem to do uh they seem to know what is needed to create a a, a nice landing page and i'm going to show you uh, shortly but before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content and if you are a lifetime deal enthusiast or software enthusiast be sure to check out the links in the video description All right so let's dive in to page maker right so this is um page maker right here so they have a few different things that they have right here let me just kind of show you um okay let me just expand the menu bar here so they have landing pages so these are generic landing pages and then we've got amazon pages right amazon pages we've got domains and we've got redeemers uh, these are so what happens is that in your amazon page you can actually allow people to redeem coupon codes and their details will be saved right here right so you can actually lead gen in page maker itself easily and they have uh, integrations uh, here as well which we will uh, you know they only have uh, these few integrations right now uh, but with webhooks you can connect to many different tools out there uh, we will uh, come to this later right so let's look at the generic landing page right here so we have um, so this is the uh, analytics page okay and you can set up forms in the page you can set up uh, a custom domain right because uh, you can set up your own subdomain your own custom domain right here uh you know the project details and any uh you know uh any different uh, any any other custom uh, css codes that you want to add javascripts uh any uh you know you put in your own favicon uh seo social media marketing right so this is your open graph uh, images as well so it allows you to customize uh, quite a lot of things right here okay so let's go into the editor here personally what i feel is that the editor it is um one thing that i feel with regards to a lot of different uh says ui right the back end ui is that uh it is not really responsive i mean it's it's responsive on the mobile but it's not responsive regarding uh you know the size of your screen itself so you know it's a little bit difficult to read what's going on uh because the texts are so thin uh, on a full hd uh, screen and that's why I'll say uh, I, I got to kind of uh, zoom in a little bit because if, if you put it 100% right you know everything is so small and it's just a little bit hurtful for my eyes okay so uh, and one thing that I do not really enjoy uh, with page maker I'm just talking throwing out some of the things that I don't like first right now and it's the way that they name the layers okay they name the layers by names right so you've got demi and you don't really know what is demi is actually this one right here okay and then uh, you got karen so karen is actually uh this this section right here okay so you know it's a little bit um difficult to to understand 
Okay, I guess they are trying to be hip or you know just trying to make uh, fun but it's a little bit difficult to understand where I am uh, right now okay and I can't seem to um, really edit the block name right so you know that's something that I feel is a little bit difficult for me because if if it's you know I've got a lot of blocks uh, I've got a lot of sections I don't know what I'm actually looking at, right? So that's something that it's uh, a little bit difficult for me, okay? Right, and uh, but all the hierarchies are in here, and you can actually turn them on, turn them off. You don't if you don't want to, right? Just like that, okay? So that's uh, nice, okay? And uh, with Page Maker, one thing that they are actually focusing on is mobile first landing pages, right? So they actually want you to build uh, on mobile first and then, uh, you know, work on your desktop versions, right? So uh, so that's something that I feel is, is, is nice, okay, because uh, most people are using their mobiles right now so you got to make sure that it loads well on mobile right and uh what they cool is that they've got tons and tons of different um templates uh right here different blocks right here right and they are very well uh designed okay they are very well designed you can see that they have a total of 223 different uh, items right so 223 different blocks that you can choose and uh, insert into your landing page very quickly right so that's uh, that's actually uh, nice as well right because you got a lot of control over your landing pages okay and you can change you know your global fonts uh, colors and stuff like that right so I'm going to exit the uh, editor right now okay and I'm going to show you uh, the templates that they have I'm just going to click on create new here okay and they have uh, these templates here so they got you know 6 9 12 15 uh, 18 21 24 35 different uh, landing pages right here uh, one thing however is that I kind of feel that they are a little bit lacking in terms of e-commerce based landing pages so they are you know talking about Amazon landing pages uh, Amazon products landing pages but they don't seem to have many uh, landing pages for Amazon products right so they've got uh, you, you can actually take a look here uh, you know they, they I would say that they they need more right you got one here and you got two three four right five six uh, this one it's more like a subscription plan so it's not really a e-commerce product page uh, how many did I, ha did I counted already? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So they've got 10, right? Uh, and, and one thing that I realized is that all the landing pages that they seem to have are revolving around health and beauty, right? But on Amazon, there's so many different uh, departments and categories of products. And, you know, they, they only have babies, they only have um, what is this? This is like a like a luxury product. It's a it's like a cleaner for your watch, I think. Okay, one, two, uh, and then you got beauty products. So three, and then health product four, right? Four, uh, you know, and then five for some tech products, kind of design right here, right? So I would say that is very very limited. Okay, in terms of the uh, range of uh, templates that they have right now um, I would say that they would want to 
work on adding more templates right that will make things a lot easier for people to uh, work with right so next we're gonna go into the Amazon pages so um, and the Amazon pages uh, this is something that I kind of like but it is still missing certain things that I would say that this is uh, to for me to call this awesome right um, let me just dive into this one right here so this is actually a product that I sell on Amazon right so I actually run an Amazon FBA business in the US and we actually sell this particular uh, camping hammock okay so we actually sell this particular camping hammock so okay so this let me just go to the page first Okay, so this is actually the uh, this. Let me just open up. Give me a second here. Let me find. How do I actually check? Okay, I think it's over here. Uh, edit details. So this is the Amazon product that I sell. Okay, so this is actually uh, a camping hammock that I sell. So you can tell that, you know, because the the range of products that I sell on Amazon are outdoor based, and they don't seem to have the templates that I want so I think that's a little bit uh, a little bit of a downer for me because I got to create an entire landing page from scratch if I want to have a more outdoor kind of look for my landing page right something that's more suitable for this product itself but one thing cool about this is that um, let me just kind of show you the uh, cr uh, creation process right so all you need to do is actually to copy a product page on Amazon right so we got to go uh, to amazon.com and we got to pull in a product okay so let's say we were to pull in this product here right this uh, foods uh, fruit snacks kind of uh, this product right here so all I need to do is to copy this here uh, which includes the uh, ASIN number, the Amazon ASIN number. The ASIN number is like, you know, the uh, product identifier number for the uh, pro uh, the product that you have on Amazon, right? In case uh, some of you who are not Amazon sellers, you don't understand what I'm talking about. All right, all you need to do is to copy this uh, section here, just up to the uh, ASIN number, including the. Uh, forward slash right here so you got to have the forward slash because I tried without the forward slash it wasn't able to actually pull in all the data nicely so you got to follow this format right here right so it's amazon.com or whichever, whichever Amazon you're in and then the product name and then forward slash DP forward slash ASIN forward slash right so you got to leave this forward slash right in here and then you just click on continue and it will actually fetch those products details in and you got the product photos everything and then the prices are all in here just like that right so and then you can put in the coupon codes so you got to actually um, set up the coupon codes on Amazon site you got to create those coupon codes and then you can uh, set the period okay right in here as well okay so that people can actually redeem those codes okay so uh, so right now we are in the uh, camping hammock okay so one uh, issue that I, f I feel is that uh, if you get if you so I selected the GoPro um, landing page right here and it feels pretty much the same thing as the generic landing page that they have okay so but with the uh, get uh, get it now button okay uh, we can actually send them to the product page okay uh, and other than that it doesn't seem to do more right it doesn't seem to do more so one thing uh, if you when you put in the uh, Amazon product page in here what happens is that the the uh, URL in here is actually mapped onto the add to cart button in Amazon so when they click on this it sends them directly into the Amazon card page and then they can just click on checkout fill in their details and pay the money right so it makes the process a lot simpler but one issue that I feel is that they could easily okay they could easily 
pull because they already put in my product images they put in my product descriptions they put in my price they pull in my reviews and, and stuff like that right they could easily pull in the reviews as well and easily map onto the landing page here of course it's not going to be perfect but i could then edit from there and that makes my process in creating landing pages for my uh, for my Amazon products way faster right way faster so that's something that I feel that they should add into the uh, to the uh, landing page uh, creator that they have right here and let's actually take a look at some of uh, I actually did you know a, a, a test on GT metrics and these are the score that I got this is for US <laughs> Okay, this is for US and it's giving me a B score. Okay, it's giving me a B score. So the, there are some random, you know, random blocking resources. You can take a look at the waterfall here, right? So um, some of the things that are, you know, probably, you know, pulling down the uh, load time is some of these PNG images. Okay, so some of these PNG images so uh i guess what they could do is maybe to convert some of these p uh, images into maybe webp format so that could help with the load time okay and these are some uh, scripts right here these are fonts okay they are you know loading a little bit slower so if they could be loaded uh you know way ahead then uh, it might load a little bit faster but the response time is actually pretty nice here right it's about you know 0.2 seconds i think on the load so this is actually pretty fast okay pretty fast response time okay so uh otherwise you know i think that overall it's it's, it's you know it's it's doing a good job right here um just that some of the images probably if it's was uh, optimized it could be loading a little bit faster okay and what I've done is actually uh, I do have a um, just a small little comparison here I'm not uh, here to compare these tools in this particular video but we have um, uh, I have actually a landing page for my webinar okay and uh, uh, this is actually made from swipe pages right swipe pages and based on some of the uh, gt max Rick scores right here okay so you can see that uh, okay i actually tested in hong kong and this was the score i get and i actually did a retest as well just in case um you know we we want to try and get a, a better score right so because sometimes gt metrics can be a bit wonky so uh i did some retests as well and these are some of the best scores that i got so even using um page maker on um that's uh on uh what do you call it on uh 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 in hong kong right so by loading in hong kong it's still taking about five seconds uh right here and then um so i would say that probably their cdn is not um because i'm in asia here right so there aren't many asian locations except um the uh you know hong kong right here so i would say that they are missing a little bit in terms of uh you know reaching out to uh, the asian side of the market as well okay so they probably need a, a cdn service that can serve uh better data you know better load times in the the asian region okay but with swipe pages right you can see that i get a a score um on this on this page right here right so you, let's refresh this and you can see that it's almost uh instant loading right whereas if i were to load this page okay this is a template that was already um this is a template from page maker itself i did nothing to change anything in here okay so if i refresh you can see that it's taking a while for everything to load only when i reload it it's a little bit faster right so let's try on the incognito mode so that we've got no caching in there okay so it's, it's actually pretty fast uh, right now um let's try this this one here okay so this is also 
pretty fast as well. So I would say that the uh, you know it, it could be an issue with uh, GT metrics. But I'll say that you know page maker seems to be loading pretty fast as well. Um, and if you have um, if you are you know an Amazon seller, um, I'll think that you know going with page maker seems to be a better option. Okay, but one thing that the uh, page maker is missing is that you know if you run a generic landing page there's no um, direct checkout button at all so you gotta direct them to somewhere else um, before you can actually make any changes okay so this uh, before you can actually get them to make a payment right so so um, in general I think that page maker could be better in a way that they you know uh, make things a lot faster right so if I want to put up a, a landing page I want it to be a lot faster especially if it's crawling data from Amazon so I think that they should try and include that feature in um, but if you are if you are looking for a fast loading the landing page uh, creation creation tool um, I think that page maker is, is, is a good one to go for uh, uh, and and uh, um, you know, compared to if you if you don't need any fanciful features, you don't need um, checkout, you don't need all that kind of stuff. You just need a fast loading landing page. Um, I think Page Maker is a great solution uh, for you, especially if you are an Amazon seller as well. Okay, and uh, pretty much that's all I have in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you like this video, give do give me a thumbs up, uh, and please share this video with your friends as well. And I will see you in my next video.